Hello, this is John from Tablet Class Math, and I want to address a few things uh, to help you homeschoolers out there, homeschooling uh, parents. Um, if you're having problems homeschooling math, okay, and this is um, a lot of this is going to be common sense, but you know, I speak to so many homeschoolers, and what I do, and Tablet Class um, is basically an online course platform for uh, middle and high school math, and uh, by far the majority of people that use our system are uh, homeschoolers. So I really do have an opportunity. To, to speak to you know, thousands of people over the year. And I learned from uh, you homeschoolers out there. I learned from you parents on what you're doing, what you've done, and I've gotten a lot smarter. And I feel like um, you know, I, it gives me an opportunity to be able to kind of aggregate, pull together everything I've learned, and I want to kind of share it to as many people, you know, share back out with as uh, many people as I can on um, you know, kind of lessons learned with homeschooling. Now, once again, a lot of this is going to sound, you know, like common sense, but oftentimes when you're when there's a problem and we know that we want to follow common sense, it's, you know, it, it's 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 difficult, you know. So let me kind of reinforce some <clears throat> some some things here and uh hopefully this will help you out. Now, this can be applicable whether you're homeschooling elementary, middle or high school math, okay? All right. So the first thing is, you know, if you're if you're really having a problem you know, with your you know, homeschooling, okay, and this is um, uh, probably really more geared towards uh, those that, you know, uh, aren't part of a, uh, a co-op or, you know, you're just um, kind of doing it at home. You know, you want to try to identify the problem. So what is the problem? Try to quantify it. Now, it could be like, well, you know, my, my child hates math. They hate using this curriculum or they make a lot of mistakes or now you're not going to um, clearly, you know, if you knew what the problem is, it would, you know, you, you probably, you know, it's not necessarily easy to identify the problem, but before you do anything, before you make any changes, you have to try to figure out, you know, as specifically as possible, what is the problem? And this is going to require you to really, you know, reflect on, you know, hey, is this a good curriculum? Does my child like learning from a video-based program? Do I give them too many problems? Or am I too inconsistent, you know, with um, our schedule, our routine? In other words, do you homeschool on Monday, and then you then you start again on Friday, and then you do a full week, and then, you know. So you have to kind of really think about what you personally think the problem is. Now, I would, as a, as a parent, I would do that independent of my child. I would go through and kind of maybe categorize a couple, two, three, four different areas where I think the problem is. Now, once, you, once you've done that, then I would have a meeting with your, with your child, you know, and say, hey, listen, what, why, why, do, why do you think, you know, we're not, you know, um, as successful as we like to be? You know, what's, what do you think is the problem? And based upon their answers, and trust me, you want to use your child. Your child should be uh, one of the things that really helps you, you know, identify, drives, uh, you know, the kind of homeschooling style you want to, you know, be using. So based upon their uh, responses, okay, don't assume that you know how, what answers they're going to give you. We make that mistake all too often as parents and teachers. You know, <clears throat> ask the questions, ask open-ended questions, let them speak, and then see how that matches what you think the problem is. Now, once you understand what the problem is, or at least have a good idea what you think the issue is, then you can kind of say, okay, I'm either in uh, a curriculum that's probably not the best curriculum or I'm in a good curriculum, but we're not using it, um, you know, uh, in, in a correct manner, you know, then you can kind of think, start thinking about what your next move is going to be because you don't want to be, you definitely don't want to just continue on if you're struggling uh, homeschooling math because uh, that is going to definitely cause problems over the long run. Okay, if you're not successful uh, in it, you know, week to week, month to month, you need, you're going to need help because there will be negative consequences that you don't want to do. And, and the good news is you can make adjustments to go from a bad situation to a great situation. That's definitely possible. All right, so the next thing here is you need a teacher. And this is really for the middle and especially the high school level mathematics. I would say pre-algebra and above. Now you need a math teacher, somebody who's, who 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 really you know um, you know preferably has a you know degree, who taught you know the material in an actual classroom. Okay, somebody who's an actual real world experience teaching math because 
Uh, trust me, you can go to college and get all the PhDs you want until you've been in a classroom faced with uh, the challenge of teaching students of various learning styles or learning challenges or aptitudes. You know, it takes it takes years to develop that experience. So there's a tremendous value to to find a teacher to help you. Now, you know, do you have to, you know, hire a full-time teacher to come into your home? Well, you know, that's, of course, that's an unrealistic type of thing. But you do want to try to get the feedback of a teacher. So you want to seek out maybe somebody in your support group if you're not a part of a uh, support group or maybe you reach out to a co-op or somewhere someplace and try to get the support at least of a, uh, a math teacher to kind of give you some feedback hey on what you think the problem is and some recommendations or maybe um, better yet ultimately to help you with their curriculum, with their actual lessons, okay? So this is actually one of the things uh, with Tabit class that I do a lot is I speak to a ton of homeschooling parents and I'm able to kind of give them feedback on what they're doing and then give them suggestions. And the thing about Tabit class, and I don't want to turn this into a commercial about Tabit class, but just so you know, Tabit class is a video-based uh, online curriculum, very comprehensive for middle and high school math. It takes it, it takes the responsibility of teaching out of your hands and into my hands. I've been doing this for a long, long time, and I have that background. I'm, you know, for lack of a better word, an expert in teaching mathematics. Okay, so you do want to use and uh, you you know a curriculum where there's a lot of there's a single person where somebody you know they have the qualifications to teach and it doesn't mean that you can't be successful as a homeschooling parent uh, teaching okay but you know why why take on all that responsibility especially if you're having some issues okay so seek out a teacher okay in some capacity or curriculum that is just more than just a workbook or a textbook or something like that something that has some sort of you know support system where, where an actual you know teachers involved and I would recommend some sort of video based uh, program as well um, okay so lastly is when you do change you know you want to make an informed change you just don't want to just the worst thing you can do is just say okay well you know I think I know what the problem is um, then on your own just make a change you know that's a kind of a gamble you know now if things aren't going well you know for like let's say six months to a year in your you know current program then yeah you know sometimes it is you do need to take that risk and and, and do that but but instead of you know feeling that you're gambling like let's just try this let's just try this try to make as an informed change as possible so what do i mean so go out read about you know read reviews you probably have already done that in your previous programs do the research the best thing is um, if you're considering a program see if you can sample it okay with your child one of the things we do at Tabit class is we have a, a an unlimited free demo where people can go in and watch plenty of a wide variety of sample videos of my instruction and then get comfortable with hey listen this works that you know we understand instruction so whether it's tablet class or another program and by the way there are other programs out there there's a lot of um well i wouldn't say a lot but there's a there's a good amount of homeschooling programs you have options from okay videos based uh, video based programs programs that use a co-op uh, programs that are you know it will give you a lot of um uh you know, take the work out of your hands, you know, etc. So based upon what your needs are, try to go out and, you know, sample that, do your research and, you know, consult your child. This should be something that is, is collaborative. Then go ahead and make that change. And sometimes those changes you make, you know, they may not work out, but that's not the end of the world. As long as you're, you know, engaged, you know, uh, in, hey, monitoring, is this working? You know, uh, and then, you know, you can make additional changes and you may have to adjust here, there, you know, as, as you homeschool. But that's one of the, you know, huge advantages to homeschooling is your ability to take control, your ability to, to, um, to, to find that perfect fit for your child or, you know, a great fit. And all I can tell you right now, I'm going to leave you with this message. If you're having problems homeschooling math, there is a tremendous amount of hope out there for you. There's, um, you know, you can make adjustments. And I, I don't, you know, for me, I'm an eternal optimist. I, I really don't think that, hey, you know, there, there there's a will, there's a way. You can be successful um, homeschooling. Um, uh, mathematics is just a matter of, of uh, working through 
the problem, finding the support, finding maybe a teacher to help you out, doing your research, trying something, and, and going forward. Okay, so hopefully the, uh, this uh, uh, video you know resonates with a lot of your homeschoolers out there. Of course, if you don't know about Tablet Class or are curious about it so come on over to our site you can take a take a free demo take a look at what we do we have a great reputation in uh, the homeschool uh, community i'm very proud um, of what we do and, and and of course i'm even more proud to be able to support those individual educators uh, at home all right so um, thanks for listening and have a great day